Hey, it is Jess from the Kinyard D. Sorry, a little bit of pause right there coming in. Wanted to talk a little bit about sodium hydration and polycystic kidney disease. Um, if you have been following us, this is a, a big topic that we started diving into and I'm really excited about some neat things that are coming out. Um, but we also want to talk about some really great tools you can use to help with uh, what I call the sodium blow when people eat out or go to a party or get too much salt. So first thing that I want to mention is um, salt and polycystic kidney disease. If you have polycystic kidney disease, sodium is going to be part of the conversation of how you can preserve your kidney function and reduce cyst growth. Um, really interesting that it's very controversial in the literature. There's some studies that will say sodium restriction showed no benefit for polycystic kidney disease and others say like a low sodium diet is an important part of management. And you really see two big camps there about what you, what you should do. So the question is, what should you do? Um, there was a couple interesting studies within this that I think kind of brings to light the middle ground of this. So one of the studies that I look, looked at, and it was in a rat model, so I know that's not perfect translation to humans, but the principle is really good here, is that they did rats on a sodium deficient diet, and they did rats on a high sodium diet, and then just normal sodium. And what they saw for polycystic kidneys in these rats is that on the the, the sodium deficient or like no sodium diet and then on a high sodium diet they saw cyst growth on both sides but they were different types of cyst growth um and so the principle here for me is that you don't want no i always say low is not the same as no and low sodium is not better than or low sodium is better than no sodium so you don't want to have no sodium you need to have a little bit um, so we aim for around 1500 to 2300 milligrams, depending on the person. We have some clients that are very active, very, uh, you know, they're, they have a high activity level, sweating a lot, and they have a little bit higher needs. Um, so that's one piece. The second piece is hydration. Hydration is huge, whether you have chronic kidney disease or polycystic kidney disease, you have to consider hydration. Now, some people do have a fluid restriction with chronic kidney disease, but that's generally much later stage. So for the majority of people with chronic kidney disease, fluid is critical. If you've read online that if you have kidney disease, you got to restrict your fluids, just know that's probably for dialysis patients um, and not for you. <laughs> you need the hydration. It's a huge, huge part of uh, controlling blood pressure. And uh, if you have PKD, it's a huge part of controlling cyst growth. And there's a lot of different reasons for that, um, but it's definitely a piece to consider. So again, down to a practical tip, what do you do with hydration? For us, we are aiming for around 80 ounces of fluid a day for our clients with PKD. If they have chronic kidney disease, then we are trying to get them to a level of hydration that we know is comfortable for them and that we know that they're getting, they're getting plenty of fluids in. So big. Okay, number three, um, the second one is about um, sodium bloat. That's what I call it, called the sodium bloat. So it is a reality that all of us are going to uh, consume at some point some high sodium foods. We eat out to socialize, we go to birthday parties, we go to anniversaries, we eat at our friend's house. Eating is a very social experience and the majority of people that eat, eat a lot of salt. That is where our taste buds have been trained for is this high sodium diet. Um, so if you're going to eat out, you're going to a birthday party, a pot like something, and you know you're gonna get an extra load of sodium that you're not used to, that's where you want to consider a hydration strategy. What we'll have our clients do is do about 12 to 16 ounces, you know, a couple hours leading up to the meal, maybe at home, really focusing on hydration before the meal, and then uh, throughout the meal, obviously drinking um, water. And then when you get home, having around eight ounces or so of fluid. That hydration strategy, very focused hydration strategy, can ha has helped them avoid quote unquote sodium bloat and kept their blood pressure from swinging up from those high sodium mills. It doesn't mean you can just eat as much salt as you want. Um, it's still wise to be careful with your choices. 
focus on the produce or uh, the grains that are at those mills um, rather than on like the salty, often fried foods are quite salty. So salty fried foods or the chips or snack foods that can have a lot of salt in them. You still wanna make wise choices, but you're gonna consume more, so you might as well put a good hydration status on board as well. So three practical tips. One, uh, if you have PKD or CKD, you're gonna hit around 1500 to 2300 milligrams of sodium. Again, personalized, but that is a broad, simple range. Um, uh, no sodium is not better than low sodium. Number two, hydration is critical, especially if polycystic kidney disease aim for around 80 ounces of fluid a day can be a good area to shoot for. And then number three is that if you are going out for a social eating, going to get a sodium load, then do some good hydration before and after. Anyways, I hope that is helpful. If you're new here, I uh, do live videos on YouTube, Facebook, uh, YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram about three to four times a week to just clarify some big kidney myths. Um, you can follow me by using the hashtag the kidney RD, um, or you can look for the kidney RD on Instagram or kidney RD on Facebook. Or you can go over to our website and we'd love to have you pop over there, kidneyrd.com, um, where we have some great free resources and we have free discovery calls so people can come in and create a, a nutrition strategy so that they know what they can do to preserve their kidney function. Um, anyways, that's it for now, and we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.